Minecraft tutorial. Except for today, it's going to be a little bit different. I'm instead going to be showing you how to make a house. I've had a lot of my students, especially the younger ones, ask me, how do you, how do you make a house? Because basically the only houses they know how to build are, they're like a 5x5 five five square, just a, like literally looks like that with a door on it. So today I'm going to show you how to make a better house and make it a little bit more customizable. You can't really teach how to build houses, but I'm going to try because, you know, that's what I do. I at least try to do things. So, basically, when I the wood I always go for is either uh, dark oak or spruce. And today, guys, I am playing at 1.8.9. Due to the fact that 1.9.2, I think it is 1.9.2, is very, very laggy for me. It'll just glitch out to no end. So, until I can get a new computer, we're going to be playing 1.8.9. So, yeah, I usually use uh, either, like, dark oak or spruce wood is my favorite to go for. And then what I also like putting inside of it is some birch. But anyways, basically you just start off with a frame is how I usually start off with my houses. And I don't do it two. I always do three. And you guys will see why in a little bit. So, okay. And I always make it odd in between. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So if you count that across, it'll be seven. So, we got our front, sort of-ish. Like, you gotta look at it and go, okay, do I want this to be a bit taller? I am gonna make mine one more taller. Alright, so, alrighty, so how far back do I want to go? Now, for these sides, I always do it at least four or three. So, one, two, three, four, alright? And one, two, three, four, I think. Is that four? Correct, it's four. So, we're just gonna go up. I'm building a very basic house, or at least this is a basic house in my opinion. When I built one of these houses in the server at school for the kids, in their new whole, uh, thank the world, and this is basically how it turned out looking a bit. So yeah, they really thought it was cool, and they all were asking, Maddie, how'd you do that? And so basically, I showed a bunch of kids how to do it, and they really didn't understand it, so. Then what I always do is, what I've learned from other YouTubers and other videos is that when you're creating a house, you have to go out one or in one in order to make it look a little bit more abstract instead of it just being an up straight. Because nobody likes a tower in a game where you're supposed to be uh, doing crazy builds and stuff like Darth Vader's and all that crazy stuff. I always go out one. I've gone in one time and it didn't turn out the way I liked it, so I always go out. But you can go in. I will be building a second house to make you go in one to show you guys how to do that. But I basically just go out. So you connect. I connect these because I don't know. It just it makes it a little bit easier to build off of, in my opinion. So all right. So you got the first bottom frame, and to this it doesn't look very good. But you gotta remember, like the whole. Yeah, if I can talk correctly, Mona Lisa didn't turn out looking good at the beginning. Basically, she started off as a skeleton, and then he started putting on more facial features. So, just remember that next time. Alright, are we going to go up three, or are we going to go up... I think I want to go up... Hmm. Oh. Now I remember what I usually do. Alright. So I always go like this. Wait. Yes. I only usually make my house a two story to one story house. So I'm actually going to make, let's make a three story house actually for this one. So basically what I do is I go like that. I said go out one, so I'm going out one. So. Now that we got this all put up and lined out, you're gonna wanna go up. So how much do I wanna go up? I think I'm gonna go up three this time. No, I'm gonna go up four again. We're just gonna keep going up four. So yeah, this house is gonna be massive. You guys need to understand that the houses are gonna be massive, but they're gonna look pretty awesome. This is why I never really make houses like this in survival. And the one time I did make a house like this, it, it looked good, don't get me wrong, it looked great. I just wasn't the biggest fan of it. But, because it just took up a 
ton, a ton, a ton of materials that I could have been using for farms and other things. So after you get the second level on, you gotta remember, you know, like, like down here, you connected it. So how are you gonna connect these this time? So, you're probably gonna wanna go like this. And, oh wait, I had that right the first time. Shoot, okay. <laughs> All right, go like this, go like this. You're gonna wanna kinda make them a little bit more identical than not. Because unless you're going, unless it's purposely supposed to look weird like that, which I'm not saying all like houses that have that look weird. I'm just saying that unless it's supposed to look like that, you don't really want to do anything completely, utterly crazy with it. So basically, you're just gonna connect it all, make a nice little frame up top. Okay, so. Alright, so, we're almost done. Alright, another question I always get asked is, um, from the kids at school, is how do you pick what materials you want? Uh, like I said, these are kind of my favorites to go off of, is spruce and birch. Basically because it kind of gives you that older, like, look instead of it being, instead of it being like a newer house, it kind of gives it an older sort of look like how they did it back in the medieval days. Uh, but basically, what I always do is, I usually go off something I like. So, the spruce and the birch. But you can always just grab them and go, okay, like, this kind of wood. And I always do logs, but you can do regular planks. I just recommend logs, they kind of look a little bit better. So you can grab, like, uh, like, these colors. These would make a very interesting looking house if you put those two together. Like, yeah. It kind of looks like a cow farm to me. But anyways, just picking, just grab things that you would never normally put together and then stick them together and go, okay, do I like this or don't I like this? And that'll kind of help you figure out what you want to do with your house and such. All right, so last floor. This is where it gets a little bit more complicated is that this is the last floor area. So if you're going to do a roof here, which I am going to do a roof right now. So basically... What I usually do for the roof is I'll go up one like here, go like that. I don't know. Okay, so I'll go out one like that. Go in. And then let's say this is the front of the house. So I'm gonna stick this right here to recognize that this is our front. Because, yeah. So that's the front of our house. So for the front, I always, always, always make the front part smaller. And I'll go up like, okay, let's go up uh, four. And then let's go in one and go up three. And this is the reason why I always, always, always do odd. So, we get up three and then I'm gonna go up two. Now you don't have to go in like this. You can do it differently if you want. I always just have my little pattern way. And there we go, there's one part of it. And you guys are going, Maddie, that's huge, and it looks ugly. It will look better, trust me. So, now I'm remembering. Okay, nope, keep the, take those away. Now you're gonna do this, and whatever you did for the first one, you're gonna do one more, so five. One, two, three, four, five. And then you can do like four, but I'm just gonna go three, kind of, just to get it. I don't want it to be too huge. It's already pretty big, so. And go up, and actually, I'm gonna do. No, I'm just gonna do two, and then two, and then two, and then you got your one. Which I know some people who've gone up one more like that, but I don't like that look. So basically, we are getting the outline of our house now, which ain't that bad. It's pretty good to to just to throw that out there. It is looking pretty good. So I'm gonna throw that right there. Put it like that. Or five. One, two, three, four, five. Wait. Five. Apparently I already did five. Two, three. And you're just gonna wanna make the front, like, this middle one look like the back one. Cause you're gonna need it to line up. So, really quickly, sorry. 
So we're gonna keep going up and just make the middle one look like this one back here. All nice and pretty. So, we got that. Boom. Done. Now we got our cool looking roof and stuff. Now I know you guys are like, Maddie, this looks terrible. But you know what? It doesn't start off looking like a masterpiece, like I was saying. So basically, I like to work my way up from the bottom to the top. Other people like to do any, like anything else besides that. But basically, I'm going to do a one door, and I'm going to stick it right there. Then I'm going to do a middle, a middle, and I think I'm going to add some brick to this. I don't know. I've been looking at it, and I think some brick might go good with this. And this is where a lot of people are like, Maddie, you're crazy. Because it looks kind of crazy when you throw brick into a medieval house. But they did have brick back then. So. And look how that looks. That looks pretty good to me. So like I said, just throw things together that don't look like they would actually go together at all. And you guys might be wondering, what are you doing with the front door? But just trust me, I, I have an idea. I always like to use blocks that aren't supposed to be used as decoration blocks as decoration. So come over to the decoration blocks, well, grab a furnace, a uh, crafting table, uh, some people will use a jukebox, I'm not going to today, I'm, I haven't been a big fan of jukeboxes. Alright, and then where's the redstone lamp, and then uh, basically just use different things like that, and usually for the front door I'll always put... Uh, furnace, furnace. I'll look at the back. It just doesn't look like something you would see on a regular door. And then I put a uh, sheep. Get away. Got like a crafting table. Crafting table somewhere. Or sometimes I put the crafting table above the door. So let's do that. Let's see how that looks. You just gotta play around with this stuff. You can't actually... I know some people who are like, I have to have a plan put in my mind. That's okay. You can do that. It's all up to you. I'm just, this is my house, so I'm going, do I want to do something like this? Kind of put two crafting tables there. And then fill it in with some more birch. Let's see how that looks. I kind of like that. I like the look of that. And then picking a door. This is what a lot of people have a lot, like have a hard time doing. Especially with all the new doors and the updates and stuff. Like, I usually go for a spruce door, just because it's more medieval looking. But, that doesn't exactly go today, so let's grab a dark oak door. Maybe that'll look good. Looks too fancy. Uh, birch door. Let's try that. It doesn't go. Well, maybe it's a regular door. Sometimes the regular oak door. No. See, this is why you just gotta put stuff down and test it. I do not like these doors. I don't. I I only use them if I'm making like a prison. Because these doors just don't look good to me. So, I would try an iron door. No, I don't like that. Anyways, we'll figure out the door later. It's not exactly a number one necessity that you need to get done right away. Anyways, we can put more brick up here. And... No, 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 don't do that. So, basically just put this stuff down here. And there's a sheep in my house. Great. Well, I am in a super flat world, so that is bound to happen, considering that a lot of animals spawn in, like, just out of nowhere. So, now we got the bottom layer done. It's not done all the way yet. And I will tell you why. Because I like to add stairs. A lot of people are like, why do you need stairs? You don't need stairs and stuff. Yes, you do. You need stairs. You don't understand the whole stair drama thing until you use stairs and see how awesome to make your house look. So let's try some stone brick stairs. So, let's try these. Okay. I uh, no, I don't like that. I think we're gonna go with spruce wood. I usually use spruce after. Something like this. I don't know. I usually have my whole like regular way of throwing stuff down. Like I have my usual pattern of what type of wood I'll use and stuff, but today I'm trying to switch it up, so that's why I'm kind of like, I don't know. 
I maybe should have just laid all my materials out there before doing this, but you guys can kind of see that this is not something that you can't exactly plan out, because when you start building, you realize, okay, that doesn't look good to me, and you start redoing everything. So, I don't know if I like spruce. Let's grab some oak. Maybe oak is good. I know oak, I usually don't like oak because it's just a little bit too bright for me. I get, it's just that regular color you always find in Minecraft. So it's kind of just something I'm like, I get annoyed with. But for this house, you know what? We're gonna just stick, we are just gonna use birch wood. I'm just gonna go birch, birch stairs. Right. these birch stairs. We're just gonna make little accents. Yeah, let me see. Let me back up. Yeah, we're just gonna go with this. Yeah, we're just gonna do this for now. Um, that's too much birch, so we're gonna put... Why did I do that? I meant to replace it with brick. So instead of putting the whole brick and pattern, let's do whole brick. And yeah. Yeah, I think I like that. Except for I'm gonna do that's too much brick in my opinion. So let's put this down right there. Kind of hiding the fact that we're not gonna do a ton of work. These sheep, man. That one's still in the LP though. That's probably right there. So I kind of like that look. Yeah, I like that. So basically, we're just gonna replace this one, this one, and if you want, you can change it up in the inside. I usually don't because I'm not that picky. Usually, if I build something like this, it's to, um, it's like for a. a, a uh, adventure map, that's what I'm thinking of. I've helped on one, and I built a house kind of like this, so. Yep, you're just gonna wanna do that all around. All right, now another thing is that people are always like, okay, well, you keep saying using things that you wouldn't normally use. Well, I see everybody using trapdoors on everything. Yes, people use trapdoors everywhere. Sometimes it gets a little bit annoying, other times it's just like, okay, that's a good amount. But trapdoors, these are very, very, very handy. I don't know why, they just are. Like, especially if you put them, like, right here. I've always learned if you stick them on the ends of the, of the log, it kind of makes it look a little good. It also adds a kind of a bit, like, you know how I was saying the oak has that kind of annoying look, at least to me it does. It kind of gives it a little bit of that. And then always on one side, I will usually do something like, where is it? Where is it? Where did it go? Where did it go? There it is. The pod is all. And then I'll grab some sort of flower. Um, I usually go with roses because I like how the red kind of throws a little bit more of a, it just throws a very bright color up there. So sometimes I'll throw that up there. And sometimes I'll just throw it right there. On this house, I am just gonna go like that and throw it on there because, yeah. No, we're gonna throw it up on another block, sorry. Yep, now you get to see how, how long it takes me to build one of these houses. And then you throw it like a trap door right there. Throw some more flowers down, make it look also pretty. I'll only put it on like one corner. Like right there. Throw it right there. And then, usually for the front of the house, I'll make a garden, which we'll get to later. So, basically, you see, that's turning out looking very lovely. And I was very unsure about this part. Because I'm, I'm usually that person who's like, I like to play it safe with what I know. But this is looking really good to me. It's looking very nice. So, basically, we're just going to do the rest of the back. And I will be back in just a second. Alrighty, so I have finished up the whole sides of the house, which I really like it. This turned out way better than I was thinking. I was kind of beginning to doubt this. But in the back, I decided to kind of do something like that. Let's have it. I, I'm now rethinking it. Maybe I should do. Let's 
Can I just try that? Yeah, I like that a little bit better. It kind of gives it, I don't know, it just makes it look better. So, on to the second floor. Alrighty, so the second floor basically is exactly like the first floor, except for, as you guys remember, we did four here instead of it being a three done. So, four, it's a little bit more complex than just regular, like, okay, we're doing it like this. It's a little bit more difficult because usually in the second area, you start to make, you start to add in glass, which I'm not the best with. I'm not good with glass, but we're going to work with it. So I'm going to pick some, you know what? Let's go for some stained glass. I kind of like the light gray stained glass. Uh, let's go for a little bit of the, okay, what color? We're kind of, we have a color scheme going. So let's grab some red and some green. And, oh, shoot, threw it. Yeah, let's use this glass. Now, basically, I've never really liked the way that brick and glass look. So, let's try using some birch. But we're still going to use glass. Or, we're still going to use the brick. We're just going to use it a little bit differently. We're going to make little corner accents. Like this. All right a little just a cute little accent like that and there we go I think all right let's go like that that no I can't like that. see this is a very difficult process it's it's not something Oh, okay, I see what we did here. Beautiful, we've made a flower. Guys, we've made a flower. So, anyways, a lot of people use glass like that. I'm not the biggest fan of using glass, I usually don't. But for today, we are gonna use glass, so I can show you that you can use glass. If I don't like it, I don't, I don't like it. So we're gonna do those corner accents again. And then we're just gonna use birch. And we're gonna use green and then some red on top because we kind of got that color scheme going and then for the back we're gonna do a different picture I'm not exactly sure what it's gonna look like yeah you never know though that's the thing about this that I love so much about Minecraft is you never know what it is gonna look like so we're gonna do this and then that because we have that sort of theme going See, it's looking very nice. Oh, where's my trap door? Because I forgot to do these ones up here. So basically, I can you can stick it anywhere you want. But, yes, we do want windows. However, I, I never do. I usually just stick torches up in it. But I usually just light my house up and let it, let it be lit by torches instead of going through all the trouble of going and getting sand, turning it into glass by like smelting it and then doing all of that horrible stuff. Nobody, nobody's a big fan of it. Especially me. I'm not a fan of anything that takes a long time. I'm like, forget it. Uh, that's one of the reasons why pottery is such a big different deal when I do it. It's because it's like, okay, so this takes a long time. It's the only thing I am patient for. Like the only thing I can take time out of my day to do. So, do we want to do another flower? You know what, I want to use some of this gray a little bit more, so let's kind of... Alright, and then boop. There we go. So let's just finish up this side, make it look all good. All right, let me think of another question. All right. Another question people ask, like at the kids in the class especially, I'm going off of what the kids have asked me and stuff, is why make a big abstract house when you can make a little house like this one? Like, not like this one, this is a pretty big house. But why go and make a big, fancy, abstract house 
if you're just going to use it to store like stuff in. And my answer to that is basically there is no reason to build a big abstract house unless you are playing with Captain Sparkles in the world of Mayanite in which you probably would want to build your house to look pretty darn awesome because the town does look awesome also. I am on season two by the way. I'm very proud of that. So circle around it, see if I like it. I do, I do like that. I like the way this looks. This looks. Now comes for the very fun slash hard part. Now we're gonna get rid of this glass because glass is just not fun to me. Alright, now for this type of house, I always, always use hay. A hay bale for the roof. And I know a lot of people are like, Maddie, why would you use a hay bale? A shish 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 shish. Alright, hay bale give it a very bright pop. I don't know what it is, but it always gives it that, that bright pop you need. Now, I always stick a piece of like whatever wood I use. So in this case, it would be a uh, birch wood plank. So birch, or slab, sorry. Slab, turn the light back on. So slab, I always stick it down like that. And then because of the front and how that looks, there's always this behind it. Nope, 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 I did it wrong, I did it wrong. Right like that, that's how I do it. Yep. And just look at the side of this house. Alright, put that down there. Put this down here. And then for this part, I do this. Alright, put oh shoot, 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 shoot. There we go. So we go like this, or I go like this. This is how I do it. If you have your own technique and way of doing this, go right ahead and do that. Um, I just, this is how I've been doing roofs since September now. Alright, there we go. Beautiful. See, it just gives it that really old, old look. I love it. I just love it way too much. So let's finish up this side and then I'll show you how to fill in the rest of it. But basically, yeah, you just fill it in. You basically you do however want your bales facing one way. So like, you see how I have my bales facing? You can put your bales like this. Looks just as nice. I just prefer it that way. I just prefer it uh, vertical, I think. Right, oh. vertical, vertical. Yes, vertical. So. For this part, you are going to fill it in, I'm just going to give you a little, not a tip, I'm just going to wait off on that before I start working on this. Next part, alright, now, see that's the only issue about this part is you get stuck everywhere with them, and if you don't get stuck, you're placing it in the wrong spot. So, just know it happens to everybody. Alright. So, just keep going back, going back, back it up, bring it over. And then you always leave it off that one, or I always do. And then you're gonna fill it right there. Last bail. place these right here. I don't know if they have a certain significance, like if if I talked to a roof thatcher, he'd be like, what the heck did you just do? But it gives it a nice accent. So, a nice accent. Sorry about the noise in the background. I do have a younger sibling who is very enthusiastic about horses, so he'd love over there. So, we got almost a whole side of it done, which is looking great. I thought it was going to be a flop. So, 
Yes, okay guys, there are times when I'm recording these videos and I will just stop because I'm like, there is no way this should be looking, there's no way this this looks good, I'm not going to put this video up on YouTube. But you know, this time it is looking really well and I'm very happy with it. They usually don't turn out this well, so... Okay, they do turn out this well, it's just they always look the same because I have my own style. And this is kind of a part of my style, but it's not my style, if you know what I mean. It's, it's my style of building, but it's not my materials that I... It's not my first pick in material. That's what I'm trying to say. Alright, so let's finish up this side. Oh man, so... While we do this and stuff, let me think of another question that I get asked by kids in the Minecraft class. I'm actually just going to answer a question. This has nothing to even do with building or anything. I'm just going to talk about this because I have been asked this. It's, what is a teenage girl like me doing playing uh, Minecraft? Like, why do I play video games? Like... I know that's a question that I do get asked, and a lot of people are very surprised when they find out that a 18 year old girl is playing Minecraft and playing other video games and stuff, but you know, as long as I can remember I've been playing video games, uh, whether it was a Hooked on Phonics game or it was Crash Bandicoot to Mario, basically those were games I played. Uh, I didn't play Mario growing up, though. I know, shocker. I was not a part of those, that group who played Mario, but it was Dance Dance Revolution, it was Crash Bandicoot, it was Pac-Man, it was Mappy, and I didn't actually get into computer games for a long time. Like, I wanted to play, uh, I remember I got challenged by, um, my friend's younger brother to play, uh... It was Super Mario Bros, and that was actually one of the very first times that I had played full Mario. And after that, I was addicted. I loved it. So, yep. Back to the tutorial. Now, basically what I do is, remember how I pulled out, like, this block in particular? I usually stick it right there. And I always stick it in these ones. I always stick it, like, right here. Because, I don't know, it just, once you put a torch back, not a torch, a switch, I always put a lever back there. Once you put a lever back here and you light them up, if I can get back here, alright. Once you light it up and it's in the dark, it looks really good. I really like how it turned out. So, uh, anyways, I know I didn't answer the whole question on what is an 18 year old girl doing play in Minecraft, but who cares, I'm continuing my tutorial. So, now comes the really difficult but not difficult part. It's kind of just the fill-in now of what are you going to put here. So, I'm just going to put some brick in these areas. Now, I never actually fully fill in this type of area. Due to the fact that I don't think it's necessary. Because if you're playing in survival and you have a limited amount of supplies... And you're taking the time to build an epic house like this. One, kudos to you. And two, you ain't got time to you ain't got time or materials to do that. So, anyways, let's continue with how we're gonna do this. So basically, we're down to the last few steps of making a, a pretty cute house. Like I think this is turning out really nicely. So, in order to make, I probably just went out of the camera. <laughs> anyways, so the. Let's fill in these areas so I can talk correctly. Now, as you remember how in this area we did the brick on the outside and the wood on the inside. We're gonna do the opposite. We're gonna do it opposite. So I'm basically gonna just do this, and I'm gonna do one outline of birch. Then, oh my god. Alrighty then, we're not gonna do that. So we're gonna put, I'm gonna put some brick right here. And then I'm going to put some more of this. I'm gonna put it in these corners. And then let's grab some 
stuff right here. Let's grab this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go furnace. Furnace. And then we're going to do crafting table. Crafting table. Crafting table. Crafting table. And then we're just going to fill the rest in with brick, I think. Actually, we're gonna bring in some glass. Believe it or not, Maddie's saying let's bring in some glass. Crazy. Yeah, we're gonna put glass here. crazy but the hell like that so that's how that's gonna be oh yeah forgot I usually put something shoot don't do that I sometimes put something on top of these in this case I'm not going to but you can if you want like some people put I've seen uh, one student he put them right there and I do like I think I like that today we're gonna do that so, I think, I don't remember which student it was, but I remember it was a student. I had a student do it. So, let's try that out. I'm not sure how I like that, though. Do I like that at all? Go on. I can go on. There we go. it's too many but I also feel like it's just enough I don't know I yeah we're gonna do that yeah I like that I like that that, that looks good sorry about these silent things where I'm just like I don't know about it I am thinking so and I know that uh, Usually when people play Minecraft, they don't talk while they play it unless they're playing with friends and they're telling them where to go to go attack somebody who's attacking them. But I will talk and I will just blabber mouth everything. So I usually am talking to myself going, no, 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 no. I'm shy of buffing it. No, 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 no. I'll just do it all. So yeah, I like that. Beautiful. 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 So. Now we're gonna do the back area. So the back is always the hardest area and I usually just leave it so plain. But today we are not gonna do that. We're not gonna go plain at all. So. Oh, I totally forgot about something I usually do or I can do. We'll do that right here then. Okay, with stairs. I know I've used stairs a lot in this. Okay. See how that looks? I know some people who like it, and I know some people who don't. I like it right now. We're gonna do that. We're actually gonna do the a pattern like this. I kind of like that today. Okay, so. Sorry about the whole silence, you guys. I am really concentrated on this.
I like that. It kind of just doesn't, it doesn't go. That's what I like about it. Alright, so now comes to the hardest part of all. Now that we have this beautiful house, the hardest thing of all time, what kind of door are we going to stick on it? <laughs> I don't know. I, these doors, they all look great. Uh, Bert. It. Too bright. Let's stick spruce on it. Ay Ay, caramba. Alright, so now Alright, so now that we got this whole thing done, let's work on a pathway. I am going all out on this house, you guys. Like I will probably be growing trees and painting painting pictures for the inside and decorating the inside, which is something I never do. I usually just stick chests in everywhere, stick a bed down and I'm good. I don't decorate houses. I do not. Like, coming up with a design for my bedroom was the worst. So, let's grab some gravel, some of this, some coarse dirt. Alright. Now, for a pathway, I always go with something like this. Just randomly place different blocks down. And we're going to make our pathway kind of go off to the left.
show you guys. There we go. We had just built a awesome little house with a cute little bridge with an adorable little... Guys, this is just the cutest thing I've ever built in my life. So, there we go. Alrighty, let me get him further. <laughs> Alright. Now, if you guys liked this video and found it helpful, please make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys all next time. So, bye-bye, everybody.